Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am creating this absolutely gorgeous, stunning prom slash formal get ready with me. So pretty much in this video, I am showing you what I personally would wear to prom or to formal. I think this is such a stunning look for all occasions in my personal opinion. And I have teamed up with Sisters The Label in this video to bring you this tutorial. And they have been kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. So it is just brown at the checkout to receive $50 off any item forever. There is no time limit on this code guys. So make sure you jump onto it. They have some absolutely stunning pieces on there. And what I am wearing now is actually from their website. I will leave this gorgeous two piece down below as well. So if you're wondering where I got it from, it's Sisters The Label obsessed. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. We're going to start off with my eyebrows as I always do. In these types of videos, I always like to do my eyebrows and my eyes before I do my base in case I do make a mistake and I don't have to take the whole thing off. So I'm just going to tie my hair back and just an FYI, I am wearing a top. I just didn't want to, you know, I, I want to dress my decolletage up with some highlighter after we finish. So I'm going to jump in with the first product, which is eyebrows. I'm going to go in with the Benefit Browsings in the shade number three. And I'm just going to start by combing them into place. My all time favorite eyebrow brush, uh, eyebrow, eyebrow brush, eyebrow brush has been the Makeup Geek Jewel Ended Brow Brush. It has been my favorite brush for such a long time now, I can't even tell you how long. But I'm going in with the wax side first before I go in with the powder. I just find that the wax is so easy to maneuver around your brow, so. Pretty much all I do is go over the top end underneath the shape of my brow. Just to give my brow an outline. And then I go in with the powder side and virtually just go over what I just did. Okay, so these are my eyebrows completed. Now I'm going to go in and carve them out. I do this every single time I film, or not film. I do this every single time I do my eyebrows. It started, I don't know how, but I just haven't been able to look back since. So I just grab any concealer and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way multi-purpose sculpting concealer. Now, all I use is any old flat concealer brush and I just grab my concealer off the applicator and I just start carving out my brows with concealer. Now, I'm going to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to keep you zoomed in nice and close so you can see exactly what I'm doing for my eyes. Now, I'm going to prime them with the exact same concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way. And I'm just going to paint some concealer on my eyelids. And then, I am going to grab my Beauty Blender and I like to blend that in all over my eyelid with my beauty blender. I just find it's the most even way to disperse the concealer. Just like so, you're going to look a bit scary because you'll have concealer all around your eyeballs, but you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Now, while I'm still looking down because I really don't want that to crease, I'm going to set my eyelids down. I'm going to be using the Airspun powder and 
I'm just going to dust some of that powder over my eyelids with the Spotlight Duster by Sigma. This is a E37 brush. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow. I have no idea what look I want to create today. Something um, really elegant, full glam. I, it's either I don't wear makeup at all or I go all out. And today, I'm going all out. So, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This bad boy is one of my, I think, well, like, literally one of my favorite eyeshadows I have, eyeshadow palettes I have ever owned. It just has everything any warm tone lover could ever want. So that's what I'm going to be using today. But now that my eyelids are primed, I'm going to start off with the shade Orange Soda, which is this shade right here. It is like a very light orange, like quite literally an orange color. So I'm putting that on my MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to start putting that into the crease. I've just turned the brightness of my ring light down because I think it was a little bit too bright. So now you'll be able to see the actual colors of the eyeshadows. So essentially I am packing this orange soda shade in my crease and slightly above. And I'm being really, really light handed um, with my brush so it doesn't go patchy. Now we're going in with a Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush, I'm going in with the shade Burnt Orange, which is the one directly below Orange Soda. So now we are getting to the darker colours, you really want to make sure you're tapping off the excess so you don't overload your brush and essentially screw up your whole eye look. So now I'm going to put that pretty much exactly where we just put Orange Soda, but a little bit lower, so not so high into the crease. Then I'm going back in the brush we used before and I'm just going to lightly diffuse that orange soda into the burnt orange shade that we just put down. Okie dokie, so what I have done is I have just added a little, <laughs> I can't speak, a little bit more of that burnt orange shade just to build up the intensity and then I went back in with that brush we used before, the MAC. 224 just to blend to make sure that there are no harsh lines between those two shades. So now I am jumping in with a smaller brush again. This is the Sigma Blending E25. It is a lot smaller than the other brushes that we used. So now I am jumping in with the shade Sienna. So we're going darker again. This is burnt orange. Now this is Sienna. So we're going in with that shade to more or less focus this on the outer V. I'm going to start by packing that shade onto the outer corner. I have just, as you saw, was adding a little bit more at a time and just blending it away as I went. So now I'm pretty happy with that 
um, how that is looking. So I'm going to go in with the final shade for the outer corner and that is the shade Mulberry up here. So it's like a deep, beautiful Mulberry colour, I guess you could say. I'm going in with the same um, E25 blending brush and doing the exact same thing, um, essentially just to deepen up that outer crease. Okay, so I am quite happy with how that is looking. I don't want to go any darker. So I'm just going to quickly one last time make sure that everything is nice and seamless before we cut the crease. Beautiful. Now I'm going to do a half cut crease um, using the same concealer as we did before. I'm just going to... And then the way I know where to cut that crease is I look right up and look straight ahead and that has now marked where I need to cut my crease. So I'm going to speed this part up just so it doesn't get too boring. You've seen me do this so many times. Okay, so I have just finished carving that out with a concealer. So now I'm going to go in with just any flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Tempera from the Soft Glam Palette just to set that in place. And then what I'm going to do is go back in with that E25 brush, not adding any more shadow and kind of just like diffuse those edges together. Perfect. So just deciding what I'm going to do on the lid for a shade. So I do want to put something there. Okay. I'm just going to grab a Sigma Short Shader E20 brush and I'm going to dip into the Anastasia Glow Kit and go in with the shade Summer, which is this shade up here. And I'm actually going to use that on my lid. But I feel like with a formal or a prom, you can go as out there as you like. It's that one time, you know, during your school life or, you know, university life where you can literally go all out and no one has the right to judge. I'm going to take a little bit of burnt orange and just really lightly diffuse those together. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how that looks. So I'm also going to take the same shade from the highlighting palette and highlight my brow bone. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is apply a liquid liner to my lash line. I'm not doing a wing. It's purely just to hide the lash band when I pop some lashes on. So I'm going to jump off camera apply my liquid liner, mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I have done my liner, lashes and mascara. I'm so excited that we are finally moving on to the rest of the face. So, I do have a couple of products that I do want to prep my skin with before I move into foundation and that is one, the strobe cream in the shade Pink Light 
and then the Time Check Lotion, both by MAC. So, I'm going to start off with the Time Check Lotion, and I'm just going to rub that in all over my face. Now going to go in with the MAC Strobe Cream. I'm really only going to be applying this to like the outside of my face due to myself having quite oily skin. I don't want to put it, you know, on my areas that tend to go oily the quickest, which is right down the center of my face. So essentially only applying that um, pretty much on the highest points. Maybe a little bit on the bridge of my nose. But you can see that just gives like such a gorgeous sheen. Beautiful. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 5.0. I haven't actually worn this for a full night before, but I've heard nothing but amazing things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint lines. And then I'm going to get my beauty blender and just start blending it out. And as you can see on this side of my face, I have fake tanned my body, but I don't ever tan my face purely because fake tan breaks my skin out. So what I'm doing here is matching my foundation to the rest of my body. So I just had to put that disclaimer out there because one of my videos, some very nice young lady commented um, that my foundation shade was oh so wrong, um, you know, because I do this. Um, that's just my personal preference. Not everyone has to do it. Not everyone has to agree. I just got to put that out there. That is a beautiful foundation. Forgot how nice it was. So now for the forehead, because I don't want to mess up my brows, I'm grabbing that same concealer brush and I'm actually going to do the exact same thing as we did for the underneath of my brows to the top, just with foundation rather than concealer. And I also like to do the middle of my brows with uh, my brush as well, purely because sometimes the beauty blender is a little bit too fat to go into there. Then I'll just go back in with my beauty blender and finish the rest of my forehead, making sure it's blended into my hairline. Okay, so now I have finished my foundation. I am actually looking human again because my face... Okay. So now I have finished the rest of my foundation. I'm actually looking human again due to having the same color face and body. I'm going to jump in and do some cream contouring, which I have been obsessing over lately. This is the Soleil Dandy. This is the Soleil Dandy Chanel by Chanel. This is such a beautiful cream product, and it's something that isn't too harsh. So I'm using my Extreme Structure Contour F04 brush and I'm just swirling my brush into the pan and I'm just going to start chiseling out my cheekbones. So because this product isn't too harsh, um, it's like really safe to use and build up, which is really nice considering some can be the total opposite. So all I've done is kind of like diffuse it under my cheekbone just to create that shadow um, as if I'm cre cream contouring and I'm taking the leftover of what's on my brush just around my forehead. Now for concealer, I'm going back in with the Too Faced Concealer that we've been using this whole time. So I'm using the shade Porcelain. 
and I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes and norm where I normally would. So I'm just going to grab my beauty blender, blend that out. This concealer blends out so nicely. Amazing. So now all of that concealer is blended out. I'm going to just make sure that I have no creasing. And I'm going to bake my under eyes with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Again, make sure that I have no creasing. and go in I'm only going to leave this on for a short minute I might actually bake around my laugh lines because formal is the last thing and the last place we want to crease then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in one of my favourite powders at the moment. This is the... Mm, that's not it. My favourite um, pressed powder. <laughs> Looks like I have a mo. <laughs> my favourite pressed powder at the moment is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Golden. Now this powder... How do I explain it? This powder's like... It has colour, but it, it's like sheer, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. But I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this and also dust away my bacon. Perfecto! Now my face is all set. It is feeling absolutely amazing. Um, we are going to move back onto the eyes and finish off the under eyes. Okay, so now I'm firstly going in with going back in with the Sigma E25 blending brush, and I think I'm just going to jump straight into burnt orange to finish off my eyes, and I'm just going to blend that out. For some reason, I'm creasing really bad. I just have very saggy under eye skin. I don't know, it's weird. I'm literally just <clears throat> blending out burnt orange. I just dipped um, my brush really lightly into Sienna, the shade darker than um, burnt orange. I don't want my under eyes being too dark. I think that's all I'm going to do <coughs> for my under eye. So now going in with the mascara, I'm going back in with the MAC Bold and Bad Lash using the under eye mascara wand and just coat my lower lashes. Um, to finish off the eyes, I've just got to do my inner corner. So I'm going back in with the Sun Dipped Palette by Anastasia. And I'm just going to pop that same summer shade on my inner corner. So now I'm going to finish off the rest of my face, finally. I'm going to go in with bronzer first. I'm not going to contour as such, but I'm going to do some warming up of the face. So I'm going in with the MAC Give Me Sun, literally one of my favorite bronzers of all time. And I'm going to use that on my Sigma Powder Blush Brush F10. I'm going to start warming up my face with this bad boy. This 
This is literally like my favorite bronzer ever. It's just the perfect warm, not too shimmery, but still has a bit of a sheen to it. It's just like the most beautiful, just the most beautiful bronzer. So what I'm going to do is now kind of like brush this over my nose. Just like so. I'm really happy with how that is looking. So now I'm going in with blush. I'm going in with another oldie a butter goodie, the MAC Warm Soul. I'm just trying to find my blush brush. I'm going to use this one. This is the Napoleon Contour Brush, but I've always loved this as a blush brush. And again, I'm just going to dust this over my nose area. Now we're up to my all time favorite step in a makeup look, and that is highlighter. So if you haven't guessed already what I'm going to be using, one of my favorite highlighter kits in the world, and I am going in with the shade Summer and using a freshy. This is the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter FO3 brush. It's dry, it's clean. I've never used it before, so I'm so excited. So I'm going in and just highlighting the crap out of my face. Formal and prom, you can never wear too much highlighter. Amazing. I'm loving this makeup look so much. I'm actually going to an engagement party tonight, so can you guess how I'm doing my makeup? So, last but not least, I'm going to set my face down with a Fix Plus. This is the new MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. So it is like a like a reflect pinky color. I'm just going to spritz my face and then we're going to finish off with the lips. Okay, so to finish off the lips, I'm going in firstly with the model's own lip liner. This is in the shade Naked 151. This is such a nice lip liner. If you haven't tried it, I highly suggest doing so and it is so affordable, which makes it even better. Haven't used this color in such a long time. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Sugar Mama. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, love. I am going to jump off camera, fix this mop, put some jewelry on, and I'll be back to show you the end result. Okay, so I am back. As you can see, my hair is done. I have my jewelry on. I have part of my outfit on. I am so excited to see what the full outcome looks like at the end. I'm so excited. Um, I have got some really nice extravagant earrings. These are from Misguided. My necklace is from Misguided also, I believe. I'll leave them in the description box below. If you're wondering, um, all I did with my hair is I curled it and popped my beautiful Eden hair extensions in. So it creates a lot of volume and length. So I am so obsessed with how this makeup look turned out and just how the whole look together 
has turned out. If you liked this video, please give me a massive thumbs up as it helps my channel out a lot. And don't forget to hit that big subscribe button below so you don't miss another video from me. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!